Hello everyone and welcome back to another survival video with me Cyber and today we are going to be building ourselves a blacksmith in the village and this is going to make the village look a lot better and it's going to take a long time but we're going to also do one for the cookhouse and for all the other sorts of buildings that we have professions for as of the new villager updates. So we're going to be going over to the village in just a second but I just wanted to show you before that the uh, this kind of wall that I've started building around the village and I'm sort of planning on doing a sort of like a three-tiered village so we've got this bottom tier where we'll have like the peasant houses and then this middle tier where we'll sort of have like middle classes and maybe a bit richer peasants so maybe, maybe like the clerics and stuff like that they'll be in this middle section and then up top there I cleared out an entire mountain that got about 26,000 blocks I had to mine out to get that mountain top cleared I'll show you up there later uh, but that's where we're going to be building a castle up there as well and I'm not entirely sure on the design of the walls yet. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. But so far, I'm sort of thinking of this style. So what we've got is we've got these parapets at the top. We've got some uh, lanterns I'm thinking of hanging around the sides. We've maybe got some spruce trapdoors and some walls at the bottom here. But yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this as a design. But if that does go well, um, I will do the other two uh, sort of tiers that go all the way around as well. So that's huge. Now, part of renovating this village we'll be getting rid of these kind of rubbishy houses uh, that are here by default and building some more interesting ones like this one so now the house itself isn't all that interesting but we do have our forge here with our blacksmith and as you can see we've got our uh, kind of forge with our working chimney at the back we've got our blast furnaces we've got an anvil here we've got uh, somewhere to quench after you've been using the forge and we've got a bit of a textured floor you know it looks battered and bruised but so that's the sort of thing that we're going to be doing for each of the different ones. And I'm thinking over here, we'll maybe do a cookhouse, um, maybe a sort of like dining hall, a great hall once we've got rid of this building, and maybe have our cooks in the back of there. And essentially what we want it to be is that we want our professions to actually have to go to work in a place that looks like a workplace. And we want our village to actually look like a real village. So at the moment, this is looking a little bit too uh, a bit too boring. Um, but yeah, so we've, we've sort of built these tiers in ourselves. These weren't here originally, um, but... We've got a couple of levels. That one goes quite over, quite far over there. And if we get up here, we can see that we've got the top of the mountain. And this took so long to clear out. It doesn't look like it, but I mean, all of... Well, not that one. Most of these double chests are full with stone. It took an absolute lifetime without a beacon. But we're going to be building a huge castle up here as well, because I think that would look pretty cool. And then we can uh, go down and work our way down the castle, work our way down the village. And uh, yeah, so first what we need to do is get all of our businesses sorted out. So as you can see, this one sort of stands out. And in this video, we are going to be doing a build tutorial. So it is going to be a bit more, um, I suppose, a sort of slower video, but one where I show you exactly what I've done at each step and how I've built these sorts of things. And that way, if you want to build it in your own world, you can. Um, if you're more interested in seeing the other things, so for example, we've got the, uh, the mine shaft over there, as we've talked about before, and the farms, the roads, uh, all of that, feel free to check out the other videos in this series. Um, but for now, let's get on and build ourselves our blacksmith forge. Okay, so we're going to start by laying down a foundation. Now, I recommend this for all builds. Um, I think all good builders tend to do this. But we're going to start off with sort of seven blocks across and about ten along. Now, this seems absolutely massive, but as you've seen in the little walkthrough there, it's really not that big. Uh, we'll just add an extra one. So it's eight by ten, this. Um, yeah, it looks a lot bigger than it is. It's actually quite a small area. But we're going to start off by outlining where our house is going to be, and that's going to sit just here. And then after we've done that, we're going to put our forge area. So again, we're just going to put a few here. I've got three there, left a two space, so we've got a nice wide door. Another couple, so we've got five out. And then we're just going to follow this to the side of the house, so it's the same size as the outside of the house. And again, I haven't changed these from what you saw in the final bit, so it looks huge, but it's actually not that big, and it does... Uh, it does get better. So I'm just getting rid of these bits from the outside because I don't really want them to be connected. And then we are going to start putting some of the floor in. So here I'm just using spruce as the floor because I think it's interesting. I also know I'm going to be using oak for the ceiling for the uh, for the roof. So I don't want to be using the same wood. And you can see I've started a little chimney thing in the corner there. Just testing out different methods. Um, originally I thought I was going to do that but I've changed my mind so I'm not going to talk too much about that. So next we get into the corners, and uh, you'll see me do this on a lot of builds. I start off with four uh, by pillaring up on the oak logs, and I do later on make this five, as you'll see. But for now, it's just good to get a bit of frame on your house before you start uh, filling it in. So what I'm going to do then is get some blocks. I'm using stone bricks just to be different um, from the cobblestone, just because it fits in with the rest of the village. I'm going to leave a space for the door, 
and also a couple of gaps for the windows. And I'm just going to speed this up now so you don't have to watch it being built. I'm sure you know how to do this. And again, I'm not too sure about the size of the window, so I'll probably change that later on. There we are. So that's the walls finished. And again, this chimney thing on the outside, I still wasn't sure about it. Um, but for now, we're going to go along and put the stairs on the outside of the house. Now, again, you'll have seen this on my other builds. We put stairs along the outside and that always starts off the roof and it gives you a bit more texture. So you don't just have sort of near vertical roofs. And I'll just skip through me uh, having done that. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to start on the actual forge thing. Now, I'm doing this two by two at first, uh, but then actually I do prefer it to be three deep. So I do sort of knock that block out and move it back a little bit, as you'll see in a second. And we're going to put a half slab at the front. And that's because we want the lava to be visible um, in our forge. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure on this at the moment, so I do knock this out again. Okay, so as you can see, we've got, a, if you're trying to copy this, we've got a sort of um, three or sort of four by one at the back there, um, or a four by three in total. And we're going to have two empty spaces. So the two spaces in the middle, one of them is going to be for a campfire. I'm just going to build that campfire now. And one is going to be for a bucket of lava, which we'll get later on. But we're going to cover up this campfire a little bit because we don't want to see that it's a campfire making the smoke. We're going to put the lava in front of it and it won't be that obvious. We're also just going to put these um, sort of slabs across the front here and we're going to get some iron bars. And the reason why we're going to get some iron bars is it just gives it a nice sort of, again, it's an industrial feel. You can imagine this might be some, some sort of safety rail or something like that. And it looks quite decent. I don't have any lava nearby right now, but this is the sort of basic design I'm going for on the uh, on the forge. And again, just uh, just feel free to mess about with this, you know, if you if you prefer it. I think that looks a bit better that way. So if you prefer it a different way, just do it, you know, whatever way you think is best. But again, I'm just going to chunk this chimney up a little bit and make sure that the smoke's still going up nice and high. And yeah, I think that looks, that's probably about all right. Now we do need to put a couple of extra slabs in just to chunk it up a bit, but that looks, it's got a good bit of depth. Okay, so back to the roof. Now I'm just going to put a very basic staircase in here now just so that I can get up onto the roof. Um, but I'm going to speed this up as well because I think it'd be quite boring to watch. But I'm just going to jump up one again and put another layer of bricks in. And the reason for this is that we want an upstairs and we also want enough space inside. So I'm going to knock these stairs out on the outside and just replace them um, one layer up so that the roof is going to start a little bit higher. And again, I'll just speed this right up so you don't have to see every one of these being placed. Okay, and as always, we always extend it one out, and that means that we can get some nice eaves on the outside of the house, and it's not just going to be a, a square box. Okay, so it's starting to come together now. It's starting to look a little bit more like it, uh, but we do need to get ourselves some extra bits. So I'm going to be using a spruce door on the front of this, just because it looks quite castle and I think that's what a blacksmith would look like. So we're putting that on the front. We're also going to grab our oak stairs now, and this is what we're going to be using for the roof. So if we get up onto the top, okay, and we're just going to follow this along and just go along and put these uh, stairs the right way around. I'm sure you've seen this a million times before, so I'm going to speed this right up. Um, but we're just going to put some cobblestone on the edge like that, and that just means that we're going to get a nice frame on the roof as well, so it looks a bit more interesting than just a sort of plain wooden roof all the way up and I'm just building this bit up on the ends as well because I think it's a bit easier if you've got some frame there it's a bit easier to just go along rather than having to constantly try and place blocks to go up. Now if you started with the same number as I did you'll see that we come to a point in the middle if not you'll be missing a gap in the middle but just put some blocks across the center of it and again it'll just be it'll be a nice contrast to do that and this is fairly straightforward fairly easy to do but it's just a really nice effect that you get on the end and I'm also going to add a bit of a dormer as you saw in the video beforehand um, and we're just going to sort of tidy that up a bit later on. But if we take a look, you can see that frame on the outside is quite nice versus the oak stairs. And it also contrasts to the floor we've got inside. So it's not sort of the same colours being a bit boring. So now what we're going to do is make the floor. And I'm using spruce slabs again for this just because that's what I've used for the floor downstairs. But if we count four blocks up and then on the top half of that fourth block, we're going to be using the spruce slabs. Now, one of the mistakes that I see a lot of sort of new builders doing is they build kind of two high roofs and you sort of bang your head on them. But if you do it this way, it always feels like there's plenty of space above your head. But also with the height we've built this room, it means that we're going to get an upstairs as well, which is super cool when you're in a village because we want places to put beds. Okay, and that's the last one placed in there. Next, we're going to put a staircase up there as well. 
So again, I'm just using some spruce stairs and it doesn't make a great deal of difference here how you do this, but my way that I tend to do it is put them against the wall like this, then place uh, one slab coming off the top of that staircase there and then just placing a stair on top of it. And then we have an upstairs. And if we stick some lights in here as well, that'll make it nice and safe. I mean, nothing would spawn on these anyway because they're slabs, but we'll just stick some lights up here as well. I probably won't need these shortly because we are going to put some windows in here. So let's just put some beds down as well. Now I'll probably tidy this up later on. For the time being, I just want to make sure that we have got beds so that we do have an armourer. And yeah, so we'll stick some windows in. So I'm going to do a bit of a dormer here. So I'm just going to chop some of this out. Now, I do spend absolutely ages messing about with this. So I'll cut that all out of the video. Um, but you can see what sort of uh, what I was sort of thinking here. But yeah, as you can see at the very start of this video as well, I've now replaced this with stone anyway. So it looks a bit better anyway. But yeah, feel free to again to decorate this however you like, really. See, there's not a lot of contrast there, which is why I changed it out to cobblestone afterwards. But for now, that's okay. It's far better than what we started off with and we can always work on these over time okay so now we've got that in we're also going to need some glass and i'm also going to change out this doorstep because again it doesn't contrast very well i think it's not very interesting so we're just going to stick some of these slabs around and again we might change this later but for now it's okay i think that's quite cool okay so now we need to sort the floor out on this outside forge bit because this is the thing that's the most important about this build not the little house the thing we're really interested in is getting this to look like an actual sort of blacksmith's now I am going to super speed this so you won't see it, or you will see it, but you'll see it really quickly. But I'm just using a sort of palette that's made up of gravel, andesite, some coarse dirt, and I also introduced some path blocks in there as well, and also some stairs. And the reason we do that is just so the floor doesn't look perfect. We want some sort of texture, some depth, um, just a little bit of difference uh, to sleep through this night here. And we're also going to stick a, a, stick a a lantern, that's what it's called. We're going to stick a lantern outside the front door. I don't really like the street lights in the village. We will re replace those with something a bit more interesting later on. But for now, that just sort of gives it more of a medieval feel. So let's get back to doing this floor then. So again, just putting some different blocks in. It's a really nice idea to use these stairs as uh, floor blocks. And if we just use the path and make it look like this is a busy blacksmith's. And again, I'm just putting some coarse dirt on because they'll never get grass on the top of coarse dirt, which means that it's quite a nice rough feel to it. And then we'll put a spade there and there. Okay, so that's starting to look more like an actual forge now. And I quite like the look of this. I will add an extra smoke, um, furnace in there as well so we can get an extra blacksmith. Um, but yeah, now we'll stick some windows in just to finish off the house a bit. Again, I'm not entirely sure on the look of these windows. I might change these later on. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you think we should change it, we will. Because I think they look a bit too clean. It looks a bit too modern. Okay, and just one more window. Again, we've got a bit helpful leather on windows here, but it's quite nice if we can actually see the other builds we've got and also see the castle walls and stuff. Okay, lastly, like the Olympic torch, we are going to be putting in the lava. And again, if we just step back now, that actually looks a hell of a lot more like a forge. We've got a bit of flame in the background. You know, it looks like it's the lava that's given off the smokes. And we're just going to put the upside down stair blocks like we always do, just to make sure that the roof looks nice and smooth on the sides. Just made a little bit of a platform here to get up to the top because it is quite tall. Get rid of that. We'll do the same on the other side. This is a really, really simple technique. I'd always recommend doing this on your roofs. It just makes it look so much better. And again, we can also use this as a bit of a, a pit as well if we want to get rid of any items. If we quickly come in the village, we can just throw stuff in there as a sort of burn away. So it's got two functions as well. It looks more like a forge. Um, but yeah, that's sort of the look we're going for. Again, I'm not a great deal of this house. I'm not a great fan of it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, but I think, yeah, the forge bit outside, I'm a big fan of this. I'm going to add a couple of uh, extra bits of decoration in here as well, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm quite, quite happy with that. So let me know what you think. If you are planning on building this yourself, or if you do build it, let me know. Um, if you've got any suggestions or comments or anything else that you think would look cool in this village, uh, drop a comment down below. If you've enjoyed this, like it. If you want to see more of this stuff, subscribe and hit the bell. And, uh, yeah, thanks very much guys. And I'll see you in the next episode.